Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on case studies in uh, modeling of Tundish steel making 1. So, we are going to have the discussion of, uh, on the case studies uh, of different type of uh, work which are being carried out in the modeling of Tundish steel making process. So, in the next lecture also we will talk about uh, uh, the similar type of case studies. So, in this lecture, uh, we are going to have the discussion about uh, some of the parametric analysis and uh, this is the um, outcome of certain of my uh, research work and, and you can even uh, uh, see uh, the such kind of work in the literature which has been reported in the uh, you know international journals or conferences. So, I have uh, uh, try to uh, analyze and, and discuss uh, such kind of work uh, which can be thought of uh, you know uh, being tried by the researchers uh, in the industries or in, in the academia and uh, also this kind of work is still going on. So, uh, we will try to have discussions on certain uh, such kind of uh, uh, work. So, uh, we talked about uh, the mixing as well as the inclusion separation processes uh, which are one of the important uh, you know uh, uh, duty which is performed by the Tundis. Uh, but here we are going to have the discussion uh, on those aspects uh, for the different configuration of Tundis. So, uh, you know there are different kind of Tundis uh, which are reported different shape of uh, Tundises. Uh, and how they perform, how you do the analysis, how uh, you can uh, have the visualization of the um, output results. So, that can be uh, seen in uh, those, uh, uh, so how that uh, we should uh, see them, so that we will see uh, in this lecture. So, uh, we have basically uh, taken uh, you know uh, these uh, four different type of tundises basically they are the outcome of uh, certain uh, research work which I did for even the uh, ministry uh, that is uh, DST. So, they are the uh, outputs also uh, you know we got similar outputs there. So, uh, we acknowledge uh, the support by the uh, DST also. So, uh, this is uh, suppose we are in, in that uh, the study was carried out on these four different kind of uh, uh, tundis. So, normally we deal with uh, the, two, two, uh, the two kind of uh, tundis uh, that is delta shape and boat shape. So, that this is known as boat shape. So, in normal you know uh, uh, this uh, rectangular type of cross section and that is being extended. So, that is your uh, you know boat shape on this, but then this here in the case of delta shape you have uh, on the symmetry line you have the larger you know uh, cross section and then it is smaller towards uh, both the side. So, this is your symmetry plane it means uh, the similar dimension will be coming on uh, the opposite side also. So, you will have a larger you know uh, tundis. So, the whole tundis is about uh, uh, 6 meter 6000 millimeter and uh, uh, in this case, uh, you have uh, this is your uh, V shape tundis. So, here actually you make a, a V type of uh, you know shape. So, uh, it will be uh, like uh, you know this way. So, you will have uh, the this is a 45 degree you know uh, angle. So, that uh, that will be your uh, you know this is uh, the type of uh, uh, shape. So, that is what uh, you see this is your uh, that type of shapes. This is V shape. This is inlet. So this way, you will have uh, uh, the um, extension on both the sides. And another shape which is uh, um, also uh, being reported in the literature 
uh, is T shape. So, in the T shape you have uh, uh, in this case you have uh, the slanting type of uh, slope is there. So, your uh, and in this case your up to certain distance you have the larger you know width and then it becomes smaller. So, that is a T shape often this it is known as. So, as you see uh, these are the four different uh, type of tendencies were taken and uh, it was uh, uh, you know these are the geometrical parameters it was seen that they, I mean, normally we keep the volume as constant. So, that volumetric flow rate also is uh, kept constant when the inlet size is uh, same. So, that is what uh, the, but now we need to know that when you do the analysis how they perform for the uh, you know main purpose for which the tundis is being used. So, um, uh, we will talk about it. So, also uh, you know we uh, discussed uh, we will use uh, maybe uh, if possible in the in this lecture or in the coming lecture we will see that how we can uh, describe the different cases when we use the uh, flow modifiers. So, when you use the flow modifier, flow modifiers will be A 1 to A 3, B 1 to B 3 or C 1 to C 3. And uh, their uh, you know uh, placement will be uh, you know varying. So um, A or, or B or C. So A is closer to the inlet, B is somewhat uh, uh, you know distant, and C is quite far near to the outlet. Similarly, uh, you know there uh, the subscript one, two, and three will be talking about the different heights we are taking. So height of that flow modifier that is dam, especially we have taken. So, that its effect will be seen on these uh, parameters. So, uh, if you look at, uh, so what we did uh, again uh, it was uh, uh, you know for getting that you need to solve these equations, uh, you, you treat the uh, you know uh, flow as turbulence. So, you have to uh, solve uh, the appropriate equations uh, even for turbulence also if you take the k epsilon uh, turbulence model you have to solve these two extra equations for k and epsilon. You can take any other turbulence model and then ultimately you try to uh, you know solve the concentration equation also for the uh, pulse input analysis for the tracer concentration which you get during the pulse input. And uh, uh, so, first of all, uh, when we solve uh, these uh, equations, so in that uh, you are going to have the velocity field, steady state velocity field you are getting uh, inside the um, tundis. So, we will try to have the velocity field which you get uh, in the case of uh, tundises. So, if you look at the velocity field. So, velocity field as uh, is shown on the bottom plane. So, this is your bottom plane, these two are the bottom planes as you see and uh, then on one of the side plane also the velocity field has been shown and it is seen that uh, the tundis uh, from the inlet the, the liquid steel will be going you know down, it will be striking here and then it is uh, uh, moving towards the outlet and since there is no you know, flow modifier here. So, what you see that initially the velocity is very high, it will be splashing on all the directions. So, it will be going similarly on the opposite side also. On this side it will be going over the wall. So, that is what it is seen that it is going on over the wall and then it is moving towards the outlet. So, this way uh, you will your uh, flow will move towards the outlet you will see the higher velocities and slowly they become lesser uh, because of the uh, you know the, um, the stresses which uh, occur because of the you know, wall and all that. Uh, so, uh, so, slowly the velocity will be uh, lesser and uh, then uh, ultimately it will come through the outlet. So, these are the you know um, velocity field on the um, bottom plane and also uh, on the side wall, one of the side wall has been shown for clarity. So, that is shown in the case of uh, uh, the um, boat shape as well as on the, um, the delta shape. So, if you go to the other kind of uh, you know uh, uh, shape of uh, tundra, so it is on V shape as you see here. So, you will have if you look at uh, the uh, the, the line you know this is the velocity vector which is showing 0.379 this is 0.379 
Similarly, this is 0.757. So, here if you look at this is here the velocity is uh, quite high and uh, you know this way it will be going and uh, this is your uh, you know t type of turn disc. So, you see the velocity higher it comes becomes lower in this range because it is somewhat distance your inlet is here. So, it will be falling here. So, coming to this side the velocity will be smaller, but then, then this way it will be you will have larger velocity on this side and a smaller velocity on that wall side. So, that is uh, you know being uh, shown uh, in this case and uh, you see the low, lower velocities on this side where higher velocities on this wall. So, these are the uh, so this way you can have an idea about uh, the um, velocity vector which you draw and you should draw the velocity vectors on those surfaces from where you can have the clarity you can draw certain uh, you know inferences you can draw certain uh, conclusions by looking at those velocity vectors uh, which will tell you that uh, where the velocity field is higher where the velocity is higher where it is lower so which uh, if it is very low it may be uh, like it may likely to have certain dead zones also so uh, this is how the velocity vectors are seen you can have the velocity vector also on the vertical planes passing through the inlet and outlet because we have uh, uh, the inlet and outlet plane that is vert on, on a vertical plane. So, uh, for the boat shape it is showing like this for the uh, you know uh, delta shape you can have uh, this inlet and outlet plane you can have the velocity vector going like that. Similarly, on the uh, plane of uh, on the uh, V shape and T shape you can have the uh, you know uh, view of these uh, velocity vectors on those uh, vertical plane where uh, on which the inlet and outlet is uh, you know situated. So, that way you can have the uh, these velocity vectors also. So, ultimately uh, after having the steady state velocity field we are solving for the uh, pulse uh, pressure concentration. So, that is uh, uh, given for a small amount of time as a pulse input and uh, then its uh, concentration will be measured at the outlet and then it is plotted. So, what is seen that uh, if you look at these uh, um, uh, you see that you have a higher peak uh, in the case of uh, the uh, boat ship, but it is uh, coming at a later time maybe not uh, so late. Uh, the if you see the appearance of the tracer which is there uh, uh, delayed for most time that is for the T shape which is indicated by the blue color and uh, the V shape what you see is that uh, you have very high uh, very early appearance in the in case of V shape that was seen by if you uh, refer the velocity vector also you can see that uh, the velocity is seen quite high and in that case it reaches. Uh, the tracer will reach to the uh, turn this outlet early that is the indicative of uh, this line. So, uh, you know that way uh, uh, and, and it is uh, going like that and then uh, you will have the it is, uh, but uh, what you see that uh, they are coming slowly uh, and the value is coming uh, l uh, smaller on, on this side. Uh, you have uh, the uh, red shape by the delta and uh, you have uh, all these uh, different turnices will have the RTD curves you can have these and you can then analyze by when you uh, even you look at the its uh, other parameters like mean resonance time or ratio of the mean resonance time. So, if you find the ratio of the uh, mean resonance time that is uh, actual to theoretical. So, that if you look at uh, you will have the minimum for the V shape that is what it is uh, clear that uh, the V shape because uh, you know uh, it has uh, the uh, uh, its uh, stay in the turn this is uh, minimum. So, uh, you know short circuiting is maximum in this case tracer has come and it has directly gone. So, the liquid is not able to go you know to every corner it, it, it uh, takes a path because of which short circuiting takes place and your mixing capability or the, the way the fluid will go inside the resistance time during which it will be moving inside 
uh, that is basically minimum uh, for the V shape and it is maximum for the T shape if you look at the T shape. So, T shape is blue. So, it, it is coming late it is coming uh, you know uh, in the last it is appearance is seen uh, you know at the outlet and then it is going and it has uh, and also you see that it is having minimum values also to in up to this region. After that even concentration value becomes less. So, but then it is going quite uh, you know early uh, it is going quite late and then at early time it is value also become less and then it is going. So, so that way it tells that the mean resonance time for the T shape is maximum and for the V shape it is minimum and uh, then uh, uh, delta shape is seen to be better than uh, both shape, but uh, not uh, better than the T shape as far as the ratio of mean resonance time is concerned. And uh, another thing by which you can have this uh, you know um, analysis by looking at the concentration iso lines. So, you can draw these uh, concentration iso lines uh, you know with time. So, because the uh, when you solve these uh, tracer concentration equation that is basically uh, in a transient manner. So, you are uh, with time variation you are plotting these uh, variation in the concentration at the outlet. So, what you see that uh, uh, as the time is uh, uh, progressing the tracer will advance towards the outlet. So, uh, so at, at different times if you look at uh, this is uh, in the 5 second if you see uh, the tracer has advanced up to this point and uh, then uh, in the 10 second this is for the boat shape bare boat shape tundis and uh, these are the concentration iso lines that helps you to understand that how tracer is moving towards the outlet. So, you see that if you something is some tracer has gone its concentration is maximum at the outlet at the inlet when the uh, uh, at the initial time that is 5 second. And then uh, as the time progresses you see that uh, the this uh, are going uh, down the value is going down because now the tracer is moving. So, if you look at 20 second the tracer is uh, moving more here towards this. So, concentration is more in on this and then it is uh, coming and uh, appearing through the um, outlet. Uh, so, this is how you see that uh, you know first appearance of the tracer will be somewhere close to 20 second or so uh, in the case of uh, boat shape and then it moves and further finally, uh, if you look at the uh, 40 second your maximum concentration is here and then it is moving on the uh, towards the outlet. So, it will be moving and going directly this stream will be going towards the outlet. So, as the time is progressing the uh, concentration value also will be go de decreasing uh, and uh, your uh, con tracer concentration if you look at this will be quite small here and then it is going increasing on this side. So, then it has uh, uh, it is coming now through the outlet. Uh, so, this is how you you know this is uh, basically uh, required to uh, study the, the movement of tracer how it moves. So, it will basically be um, uh, going through the um, uh, as per the velocity field which is existing inside the tundis itself. So, um, uh, as you see that it is going uh, by following the wall and also um, uh, side wall as well as the bottom wall. So, that way it is moving and going towards the outlet. A uh, similar thing can be observed for other kind of transitions like uh, the this is for the uh, delta shape. So, here also again the same way it is moving and then it is uh, coming out through the outlet. Uh, if you look at uh, the um, uh, this is the V shape transitions. So, what you see uh, now, in this case uh, uh, you see that quite early it has come basically in 5 second in 10 second itself it has come uh, on the outlet. So, that is why you see that in this case basically uh, it uh, quickly comes. So, that is why the short circuiting uh, phenomena that can be you know uh, observed here and uh, you know uh, the uh, mixing uh, the, the mean resonance time is basically seems to be 
uh, or is seeming to be you know, quite small as compared to other kind of tundises. And uh, if you look at this T shaped tundis, now in this case you can have the idea that it is uh, going little late. Uh, it is going from uh, because it will be going towards this wall and then it is moving and then ultimately after some time it will be coming towards the outlet. So, uh, so that way uh, you know here the appearance is uh, quite delayed and uh, you know that is how you can have certain kind of uh, you know uh, inferences by which you can conclude that to why it behaves better. So, these are the ways by which you can do these modeling. This is in the case of uh, T shaped tundis. Uh, you can also do the inclusion uh, studies in the different kind of uh, uh, different shape of tundises. Uh, inclusion uh, particle trajectory can be calculated and that can be seen. So, what has been seen was that uh, the uh, inclusion removal was minimum in the case of uh, T shape, it was maximum in the case of. Uh, uh, v shape. So, these are the studies which uh, was uh, there, but that can be you know that will be depending upon many parameters and uh, that was one of the result which we got. Now, uh, another thing uh, which uh, was uh, done was the geometrical parameters of the tundis on mixing and inclusion separation was also studied and that has its bearing. Uh, because many a times we have shallow tundises, we have larger tundises or smaller tundises, we have less height or less width or so. So, what will be its effect? So, that also can be done and uh, in, in that basically there are uh, you know 5 cases, one being standard. So, you have other 4 cases like in one case you are decreasing the height and you have increased the height. Similarly, you have decreased the width and you have increased the width and one is standard that is H and W. So, so, once you do that then you can have the idea that what are the effects of the variation of these geometrical parameters. So, that can be seen and, and you can have the analysis of the uh, velocity vectors if you look at when you uh, decrease the um, you know height or increase the height uh, or you can have uh, the decreased width cases or increased width cases. So, you can have uh, a primary feel uh, you know uh, that uh, how the velocity vectors are changing because the uh, you know you can see that if since being the width being smaller it becomes more dense here, height becomes smaller it more becomes more dense here uh, as compared to the standard or the increased dimensions. So, uh, you can also analyze these velocity vectors at uh, the uh, you know at the vertical planes for the different uh, you know standard case and then you will have the other cases of uh, smaller height or smaller width or larger height or larger width. So, that way uh, you can have these uh, drawn and, and see the uh, velocity vectors. Uh, so, uh, that is uh, at the uh, you know this is at the uh, side walls also. So, that is uh, shown here. Uh, then uh, you know this is for the uh, you know this is for uh, the, uh, the that was for board shape and this is for delta shape. So, the how delta shape it is uh, changing then you have the board uh, the V shape. So, V shape also you have the different dimensions and then you have the different type of flow fun, uh, um, flow vectors uh, and uh, then this is now finally, the T shape. So, in the T shape also we have changed the sizes and you can have the uh, you know feel of these velocity vectors uh, at the different uh, you know um, positions. Now, based on that uh, basically then you can you do the uh, you know uh, the studies of the uh, uh, the RTD. And uh, with the help of RTD, you can have the calculation of the mixing parameters. And uh, this is again uh, on the uh, vertical plane that is for the T shape on this. And then you draw these uh, um, you know RTD and, and based on the RTD, you can have the uh, you know analysis and uh, you can see that how they are uh, you know um, how they um, uh, 
these uh, different uh, change in the geometrical parameters they will be um, affecting these RTDs. So, uh, what you see the if you look at the uh, boat shape tundis, so in the boat shape tundis uh, it is starting here delta shape will be starting here in the V shape we have already seen that uh, your it will be starting quite early and T shape will be it will be starting uh, the most late way. Now, what you see that uh, this uh, you know red portion is uh, the uh, uh, change in height and uh, your uh, uh, so it will be smaller one and a uh, smaller width will be blue. So, if you uh, look at the boat shape what you see is that the, the peak is uh, uh, smaller in the case when the height is smaller. Now, that is also seen in the case of delta shape also where you have uh, the um, peak is smaller when you have a height is smaller. Uh, but that is not seen in the case of V and T shape because uh, in these cases the peak is not small although it is in the case of T shape it is not uh, so um, the highest but in the case of V shape it is highest. So, uh, you know so what you see that with the hem with the smaller height uh, possibly we should get the uh, maximum you know uh, the, that parameter if you look at the uh, you know boat shape. So, with the height uh, smaller height if you look at uh, you see that it has maximum ratio of MRT because of this smaller peak. So, that is what is seen that you have that is seen because of the this peak. Now, uh, again uh, if you look at uh, um, uh, the uh, width, so if you see the smaller width case so, this is again a smaller uh, peak. So, it will be better uh, you know MRT uh, that is uh, being observed, uh, but uh, if you look at these uh, V shape in that case these uh, smaller dimensions are not showing improved results and that can be uh, seen by uh, for the V shape. So, uh, you know uh, in, in these cases your ratio of MRT is being smaller. So, uh, this is good uh, for uh, because in the case of V shape we have already seen that is anyway uh, the MRT is smaller and when you are making a smaller the uh, the more quickly the pressure will go through the outlet. So, your short circuiting phenomena is even more aggravated. So, that is why your MRT or the mixing parameter basically ratio of MRT. So, that uh, is uh, decreased for uh, the V shape turn this and uh, for the boat shape it is uh, or delta shape you see that it is uh, ok, it is uh, somewhat better as compared to the larger height cases. Uh, and uh, standard we have already uh, analyzed and if you increase these uh, uh, you know height, so this is uh, greener, so increasing height will be worsening uh, the uh, ratio. So, in the case of delta and uh, uh, boat that is what it is uh, seen from here. So, increasing the height uh, what you see is that normally you do not have improvement in the case of boat. In the case of delta you can see there is marginal improvement. Um, so, uh, that is one. Now, in case of V shape as you see uh, the best uh, you know performance is by the this uh, uh, you know uh, light blue or uh, that color. So, this is 1.2 width, so that is showing even better result and uh, that may be seen for the 1.2 width you see that uh, this is quite high 1.2 height also is showing better result. Uh, so, that is uh, seen from those by looking at those uh, curves if you will go for the T shape you see you see the 0.8 width is uh, showing the minimum one. Uh, and that is why 0.8 uh, you know height this is 0.8 uh, you know uh, height. So, that is uh, uh, showing that uh, uh, maximum one. So, so, that way what you see that by looking at these uh, graphs you can have one feel that how these uh, you know uh, 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 they, they these uh, RTDs can be interpreted to have the uh, you know effect on these parameters like main resistance time or even the mixing parameters. 
We also did the uh, you know inclusion uh, behavior and what was seen was that uh, the uh, you know boat shape, delta shape, V shape and T shape. So, what was seen that the maximum inclusion removal was with the uh, boat shape that is with the this uh, rectangular shape uh, line and uh, no, no this is not that this is the uh, you know uh, delta shape is showing the maximum with the height and uh, for this uh, if you look at the um, uh, V shape. So, this is triangle 1 uh, and this is your V shape. So, it is uh, coming down and then it is further going. So, that way uh, it is uh, better uh, you know, for the uh, 1.2 height. Uh, so, by looking at this also you can have one uh, feeling that how these uh, uh, you know transitions are going to perform uh, you know um, uh, when the geometrical parameters are going to change. So, so this way uh, you know the, there are different kind of you can have the uh, you know analysis of these uh, results by looking at the papers in the literature and you can have a feel about uh, you know uh, and confidence also in interpreting these results and uh, you know justifying a particular shape or size of any tundis for the industrial use if you are working in the industries uh, or you can have a uh, you know model physical model setup also there also you can have these studies and verify them. So, that is about uh, this and we will have a few more case studies in our coming lectures. Thank you very much. Thank you.